Christmas is the time where we rejoice while spreading love and cheer. It's also the time of year where we give thanks, especially to those individuals who often go unappreciated in society. Math teachers. People use a lot of math around Christmas, so now is the perfect time to thank our math teachers. And for any students watching who are wondering, when am I going to use this math stuff in the future? The simple answer is, at Christmas. So I've created a spreadsheet and I've added everything up and we are down to the dime as far as how much we've spent on each child. 10 down, only 84 more to go before we're done with our Christmas cards. For me, having the perfect hot cocoa is all about having the perfect ratio of milk and cream to cocoa. And that's not even including the ratio of whipped cream and or marshmallows to the finished cocoa. Don't judge me, but I think I've eaten a third of the Christmas cookies. And each cookie has like seven grams of fat, so I think I've gained about five pounds. Well, to your defense, the last two weekends we had Christmas parties and there were a lot of cheese dips and desserts and drinks. Now, and... I should clarify. I think I've gained five pounds today. How much should we spend on the kids' teachers? Ten. I think we spent 20 last year. I mean, will they even notice if it's less than what we spent last year? I mean, our kids had different teachers last year, so of course not. No, let's go with 20. I think we're only gonna need one string of lights. That's all we needed last year. This tree is like a foot taller than the one we had last year. We were cutting it close last year as it was. We are for sure going to need two strings of lights. Okay, yeah, yeah, you're probably right. Fill up my mug so that it's about two thirds full with milk, nuke it, and then I add three rounded tablespoons of cocoa, Land the Lakes. Don't even think about using any other brand. And the kids' Christmas concert is Sunday at 2 p.m. Wait, I thought it was Tuesday at 6. No, the band concert is Sunday. The elementary school concert is Tuesday. <sighs> oh, wait. The Packers play Sunday night, so this will work. Whew. It's all good. 10 feet by 30 inches. Yeah, yeah, that, that should be enough. Credit card bill came in. Well, considering it's Christmas, not bad. That's for November. So we've got eight nights total for Christmas break. So this is what I'm thinking. We'll leave on Christmas Eve to go see mom. We'll be with her for two nights. We'll come back home on the 26th. We'll spend four nights here at home. Then we'll go to your parents, spend two nights with them. And we'll be back New Year's Day and Christmas break will be over. Get that stirred up, add in the half and half so that's about an inch away from the top of the mug. That makes it the perfect temperature. Okay, four cups of water for the tree. Is it warm water? It needs to be warm water. Oh, I didn't know it mattered. Yeah, eight cups warm water the first day, then two cups warm water the next two days, and then every day after that, one cup warm water. Wow. Okay, so we still need to get something for Andrew. What about this? I don't know. What are the odds he's actually going to play with that? I know. He's just so difficult to buy for. And I feel like the last three, four years, he hasn't been the biggest fan of what we've gotten him. That's true, but really, for all our kids, they only like like 80% of the gifts that we get them. Like 70, 65%, yeah, yeah, 65. yeah. And then I add the whipped cream. Homemade is best, and I top it to about two inches over the top of the mug. Here's the grocery list. Let me know if you have any questions. Whoa, four bags of chocolate chips, two pounds of caramels, three pounds of butter, well, yeah, each Christmas cookie recipe needs to be doubled since there's eight of us, plus we're gonna be giving some away, so that's the only way we're gonna have enough. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. Um, candy canes, you don't have a number listed next to them. Six kids, two candy canes each, let's get a dozen. So Christmas Eve mass is at 5 p.m., so if we leave by four, we might be able to get there in time for all of us to sit together in the same pew and not be in the balcony or the lobby. Okay, well, why don't we aim to leave by 3.30 and that way we'll make sure to leave by four. And if it's snowing, we'll bump that forward by another 15 minutes. Hey, do you know what mom's getting me for Christmas? It, it's not that I wanna know, it's just that if I have an idea of the price range of the gift she got for me, then that can help me with the gift that I get for her. I don't know. And then you've got the perfect hot cocoa. Now, if I was going to make hot cocoa for adults, how about now? Hot That's the third time I've heard that song today. I kind of like it. Oh, that song's the worst. Wait, so that song's not okay, but Bing Crosby and David Bowie's Little Drummer Boy Peace on Earth mashup is fine? Yeah, because you're taking classic Bing Crosby and you're adding some eccentric David Bowie 
the sum of which is Christmas gold.